I'm going to show you how you can set up a page so that you can look up Airtable records with a barcode scanner or a QR code scanner. So I'll be using the mini extensions form. And the idea here is I want to share a form with somebody and this could be, you know, even on a mobile device. And then I want them to be able to scan a barcode and then be able to look up that record, um, the product for that record, and then be able maybe to make some edits or just, you know, view, view that information. And it's up to you whether or not you want to enable editing. So to get started, I'm going to create a form and then you know get familiar with using the form and then enable the login page. Once you do that, then add the barcode field that you'd like to start using to look up records and then enable the scanner for that field. Once you've done all of that, let's go ahead and try scanning here. So we look up that record, if I wanted to make some changes to the name, I could make the change. So let's just try a quick change here. And, you know, I could even show the brand that is attached to that record. And specifically, if we want to find this record in Airtable, we looked up this record right here. And, you know, the brand here is this brand right here. So let's save that change real quick, just to show you what that looks like. So you'll see it just immediately gets updated. Cool. Now I'm going to show you how you can set up an inventory system using mini extensions. So I'm going to set up a basic table here where the type of every record is just in and out, right? And then the quantity is how many uh, products am I, you know, how, how many actual products am I checking into the warehouse or out of the warehouse? And, you know, what is this product? And the product is just a product link table where the primary field is the barcode. And this is just a lookup field. Cool. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you the form here. Um, just, you know, set up the a form for the table inventory and then add your product and then make sure to enable the barcode scanner for the linked record. And once you've done all that, you can start using this form. So I'm going to go ahead here and click find. Then you'll click on this image right here to be able to start scanning. Once I've scanned the barcode, you'll see the barcode right there and then you're done. Then I can say, you know, I'm checking in and then I can say I'm checking in 300. So yeah, and then if you're checking out, you do the opposite, and then you would have a full record in Airtable of all the products that you have in your warehouses. That's it. If you have any feedback or any questions, please let us know.